welcome back to a daily vlog, a day in the life. I'm in the vlogging mood. I've literally, oh, just been watching Alana's moving vlog her moving update. Bless her, she still has the Brighton gin that I bought her like a year and a half ago. She says that it's too pretty to drink. Girl, drink that gin. It is good gin. Anyway, the plan for today. Um, it's boiling. I'm sweating. This is the first time I've actually done a face of makeup in about a week because it's just been too hot to do anything. <laughs> All I've wanted to do is lay in front of the fan and watch Selling Sunset, um, which I am very close to finishing. I only started watching it a couple of days ago. Perfect binge watch. Um, it's too hot to dry my hair so we're just dealing with an interesting look. I might just like throw it up in a ponytail um, and it's so hot it's one of the few days of the year that I can wear this like tissue dress. I literally call this my tissue dress. Oh the boobs are poking out. It's like wrapping a piece of tissue paper around you. It's so light and breezy and lovely. It's from Realization Part and um, I'm hot even wearing this. I'm sure you've seen it before. I've had it for like two years now I think. It's the perfect summer dress but I'll do a little outfit of the day. I have a little purchase to show you later on. Might have bought a little something. It's been a long time since I bought a little something in that category so I'm very excited to share that with you. I will show you in a bit and also today I'm gonna organize my office. I'm in the organization mood. Bloody hot but that's something I can do in front of a fan. It's fine I can turn my fan on and I just want to blitz the office have like a proper declutter get ready for the new school year you know the type just properly streamline in there um because although there's not that much storage in there there's definitely some bits i can get rid of in the drawers um so i guess this is a bit of a makeup declutter as well and there is a lot hiding underneath that sofa let me tell you um so yeah that is the plan for the day the hair is up this is so much better oh that was just all like damp and hot and gross um but yeah it's up we're done we're freshly showered we're feeling good this is the realization part dress um when i wore this in front of my sister one time she was like that is a dress i'm five foot seven for reference <laughs> But it's pretty short. I don't care. I love it. It's just great for days like this. I wear it a lot when I'm on holiday, so it's very exciting to be able to wear it when I'm not on holiday in the UK. Doesn't happen all that often. Um, so yeah, it's Realization Par. I think I have it in a medium. I will double check that for you. And then I just got my Birkenstock sandals on for in the house. Oh, speaking of Realization Par, there is a very exciting development. Let's go into the wardrobe. You know this skirt that I love so much, midi skirt length, love, 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 now comes in a mini. They now do the Wild Things print in a mini, which I'm so excited about, because obviously like the midi, I rolled up like schoolgirl style and made it into a mini, um, but then I kind of had to wear like billowing things over the top to like hide the bulging <laughs> waistband from doing that. And I wear it so often like that. I decided to treat myself to the mini. I mean, I've literally worn this so much. I know I will get so much wear out of this. Just to compare them, um, I do feel like the background of the print is a slightly different color. This one feels a little bit more champagne-y and this one feels a little bit more yellowy, maybe just a little bit deeper. Um, but it's exactly the same print. Just a note on sizing, I had the long one in a small. I picked up the medium and just found it a little bit too roomy. For reference, I'm a size like 10 to 12, so I feel like the Wild Things skirt in the midi size is a little large, so I'd recommend sizing down. But then the mini, I'd say comes up a little bit smaller, so I have this in the medium. I tried the small as well, the small is just way too tight. So um, yeah, very happy. A late summer purchase, but one I'm sure I will wear in years to come. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the before of clearing out the office, so I'm not sure there's too much to rearrange here, but I mean, there's always a few things. Then down here, I've got a few things. Here I had a clear out of my wardrobe in a video that you guys will see soon. Oh, I've got the realization pass skirt in the small that I need to return. And then ultimately I just, oh, I'm gonna sort through every single drawer in there. By the way, I'm always asked about this pink liquid. Guys, it's like, it's squash, um, like a fruit cordial and I love it. And it means that I drink more than enough water in a day. But then here, da, 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 here is stuff. So definitely need to sort through this as well. I think I might get started in this corner and then 
work my way around. So under my desk is where I keep all of my beauty empties and you're actually gonna see like a half year beauty empties video next, that's the next video. Um, but since I filmed that video, there is more. Uh, the Kiehl's Made For All Gentle Body Wash is brilliant, love it, already repurchased, got another one on the go. I finished another therapy detox salts, love these, love that they're reusable and I actually already have another reusable one so I can recycle this one. You'll see in that video that I've used up so many of the Biosance, 100% squalene oil and they've now bought it out in a massive size on cult beauty i'll definitely be buying that i'll link that in the description box for you uh the tan lux the gradual great again something that i've used a load up of the army pure glow supplements i've used up um obviously with supplements it's a tricky one to know if they work or not but i found swallowing these fine <laughs> and then i've got the kills this is the rare earth pore cleansing mask use that completely up love that the barbara sturum this is the hydrating facial mist super pricey wouldn't buy this again i was just sent this and i used it up but i think i prefer the josh rosebrook and then another one of these the estee lauder advanced night repair eye supercharged complex really really love it and would definitely repurchase this I just cannot bear to close the window. So I've sorted through some clothing bits, the bits that need like washing before I take them to a charity shop, um, some bits for Depop, that kind of thing. And then these arrived from Paper Chase. These are the smaller version of the photo albums that I use. So I usually use the bigger ones. Um, but I had some photos that we took during lockdown, like Mark went on a socially distanced bike ride. He took some photos of the bread that he made. It was like a photo of me absolutely no traffic and normally there is so much traffic on that stretch of road so we've got some like photos to remember lockdown by so i've just made a little lockdown 2020 mini photo album um, so i'm just going to pop those photos in here now Just like a little diary of what we got up to. Yeah, these are brilliant. I'll link them down below for you. Um, they are my faves. Lockdown 2020, there you go. I think we've truly outdone ourselves here. This is our favorite. It's a nectarine and tomato burrata salad. It's from Jessica Elliott Dennison's book, Salad Feasts. We just absolutely love it. So it's like, oh, it's just such a zingy, like fresh salad on a hot day. I love a tomato salad with a bit of fruit in. And then there's a salsa verde that you like dollop on top. I and mean, then there's a bit of bread as well. Like, are you showing off here? Huh? Are you showing off? This What's is that? amazing. This was team effort though. I did the salad, Mark did the salsa. Yeah, yeah. Look at this for an outfit. Ooh. So this area is looking far clearer. There's some parcels that I need to send. There's some more down here. It's cool, it's fine, I can send those, but this whole section is much clearer. I cleared that out that had um, the empties in that I showed you earlier and also um, a few boxes I think that Mark was keeping from our camera, but the camera's all good, so it's cool. So this might not look clearer, but trust me, it's clearer. It's kind of organized. And under the bed, there actually wasn't as much stuff as I thought. We found a broken tripod, so that's fine. We're gonna take that to the dump. And then also a ring light that we don't really use. And so we're gonna try sell that on like, Facebook marketplace or something but other than that it's all good under there tidied up so now that just leaves this section I feel like I was kind of leaving the best till last I'm so full from lunch that is our favorite lunch I'll link the book that that recipe's in down below because it's just amazing and um, my hair is dry like every <laughs> actually it's probably the only part of me that is dry currently because everything else is sweating um but this is fine I can put my fan on and I'm just gonna go for it and I'll show you what I shed Whenever 
I do a clear out, I just end up trying loads of makeup on. This is like my collectibles drawer that has like old classics. Wonder Woman, Stereo Rose. And then this is the first ever fancy schmancy lipstick I ever, ever, ever bought. I got it from Feel Unique because it was like one pound cheaper. And it's the YSL Tea Rose shade. Oh, look at that. Pink, and then I'm not gonna lie, just put it on. Okay, let's put it on real thick. Okay, this is like 11 years old, this lipstick. Hmm. <laughs> if you blend it in though, it smells okay. I was gonna say that's not terrible, but actually then I just looked in the viewfinder and I was like, mm, yeah, no, still way too pale. But yeah, I love like holding on to things like this. Nice memories. Also, if anyone has any makeup storage suggestions, um, this is a box I picked up from I think all of the bonus like five years ago now and like my everyday makeup is just sat out on my vanity in the bedroom in this but look the top completely come off I don't, I don't know why i saved the screws because you can't screw back into plastic that is broken but yeah i mean this happens it's plastic it's been in the sun for like five years it's got brittle and i can still use it i can just kind of you know do that but to be fair this is a real pain to clean um so yeah if anyone has any suggestions how do you store like a smaller stash like this um i'm all is so here you go i have had a clear out quite substantial um most of them are things that like are new and i've been meaning to try and i haven't tried them for like six months which to me is like it's time to uh pass on to a mate but these are looking far better like look at this lip products <gasps> eyes Oh, <laughs> cheeks. This one is like, yeah, basically just empty. And then I, I mean, I, I'm always gonna have quite a few base products, but there you go. Very, very chuffed with this new streamlined situation. I love finding old diaries. This one is such a fun one because it's got all my book planning. So this is like all of the feedback that I got from you guys. And then this was me like condensing it into each of the chapters. Like I love having a flick through like when was this for yeah this was 2017 back in the day when i did how many blog posts a week oh four blog posts a week oh four blog posts a week two videos a week um, i still do the videos but i only do one blog post a week now but look at this all of the hashtag content love having a flick through this okay this is kind of genius i have like loads of random leftover currency just hanging around vietnamese dong some canadian dollars and some euros and i was like i bet there is a place you can go online and you say everything that you've got and then you just send it to them and they put it in your bank account um obviously i know you could go to like the place where they change up your money but in a socially distanced world this is kind of a genius idea and then you just put your little reference number in the thing and send it off genius 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 i did it if you're anything like me i wish i like hang on i collect it i'm like oh i'll give this to someone next time they're going to vietnam um but yeah that might not happen for a while so i think i've just got like 80 pounds hopefully by the time this video goes live like i would have got money and i know this isn't some like dodgy website that's just taking my currency <laughs> and if it's good i'll link it in the description box down below genius I did a quick little outfit change because I just popped out to the supermarket to get more ice creams. Oh yes. And as I mentioned, I feel like the dress is like tissue paper dress, but I needed something that was equally like summery and light on the body. This realization par, again, realization par, the Iggy dress. I just love and adore for moments like that. And um, But this, this is what I wanted to show you earlier on. This is my new baby. It's from Loewe and it's like their raffia pouch something like that um i've been looking for something to replace my bamboo bag like my wood grade bamboo bag that i absolutely love and i adore but is quite frankly like hanging on by one tiny little string it's a little bit broken can't really fix it and i also wanted like a summer kind of like small medium bag like a small bag but one that i can fit a decent amount in with zip on for when one day we resume hot weather city breaks i thought this would be a really good option for that and also just like out and about in the summer when i don't want to wear like a big leather bag and i found this weirdly alex from i Bet the e posted about it like the day i bought it or like the day after i bought it and i was like oh my gosh this bag this bag is fab i know everyone has the really big one from them but i really love my wood gray straw bag and i feel like you're not getting like great value for money for that one and but this one look at that proper zip on the top lots of space in there just really nicely done very very chuffed with it um i have a bag collection 
coming very soon. Um, yeah, so this is my third outfit change of the day. That's basically what you do when it's really super hot, right? You just like change your clothes every three hours because you can't work out what to wear because everything is just making you sweat profusely. Um, this is the Hunza G swimming costume. I've had this for about 18 months. I really like it, although it is cut quite high on the thigh. It's like a one size fits all job. So there's lots of space in it, which I really, really like. It's very, very, very stretchy but the cut of it is quite high. Definitely something to note. Uh, these are girlfriend denim shorts. And then I got my tethers on and that were gray, gigantic straw bag that I was talking about. Um, we, we're going to the beach. Oh yeah, what's time? Quarter to seven, nice little pre sunset dip. Uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. I'm very excited. There'll be that split second moment when I'm like getting into the sea where I think it's a terrible idea, but really it's a good idea. So I've just watched that clip back and I look naked. Promise, I'm I not naked. I thought you were naked when you were walking out. I was like, oh my God, When, I, when I'm walking out, skinny it looks dipping. like actual bare butt. Oh. Yeah, it looks like we've gone skinny dipping. <laughs> Promise, I haven't. This is not a nudist beach. It's a very beautiful beach though. And um, yeah, that was super peaceful. Despite what you can see behind you, a nice concrete wall behind you. <laughs> look out here though. Look at this. Oh, and the sunset. Oh yeah. Apologies, I forgot to finish the vlog. So I'm gonna finish it now. And um, we came home and Mark had made like a chickpea and pea salad. It was extremely tasty. I have no idea where he got the recipe from, but he made it for dinner last night. We had the leftovers for dinner tonight. So that was really tasty. And then I spoke to my sister all the way from New Zealand. Her morning, our evening. So just had like a quick chat and catched up, which was really nice. And now I'm jumping in the shower because I am still, still in my swimming costume from earlier on. But I feel very cool, which is really nice actually. I think we just, we've acclimatized to the heat and the fact that it is 30.5 degrees celsius in our bedroom right now it's cool it's fine we're used to it i am not complaining because probably by the time this video goes live it'll be back to being like 10 degrees again so it is cool um but yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna watch selling sunset season three the final episode bring it on and i will see you soon for a brand new video thank you so much for watching bye